We are going to have two separate groups doing two different topics on our personal narrative. So I'm going to call out a few names. If I call your name, you need to go out into the hallway. I have two articles for each of you. I want you guys to read them. And then you're going to hang out out here for a few minutes and discuss this. Hey, do you want to play, play around the golf? But what you guys are going to do for your personal narrative is you're going to describe a fall activity that was memorable to you. So you're going to describe a fall activity. Memorable to write about hunting, then you need to write about a specific hunting trip you went on and what happened. Okay? Does that make sense? If you want to write about a Halloween, think of a specific Halloween and a specific. Fall, the leaves change colors and fall off of the trees. My favorite part is when you had done raked up the leaves off the ground and you run and jump in the pile of leaves and then your puppy jumps on you. But in the winter, there are no leaves to jump in, just simply cold, crushed ice called snow. Or in the early spring, sure there's still flowers starting to grow, but still no leaves to jump in. Okay, good. So, <clears throat> she talks about the setting of fall a lot, and that's something you guys are going to be working on today. Our, remember I said the best way to describe setting is through the five senses? So, what you're going to do today, first, you're going to take a clean sheet of paper and you're going to write a two or three sentence summary of the memory you're going to write about, write your paper about, okay? Then you're going to turn that in up front and you're going to pick up one of these sheets and you need to describe the setting of the memory you're writing about. So I want you to tell me, I want you to visualize that memory and I want you to tell me Lots of things that you saw, all the things that you heard, smelled, tasted, and felt. Okay? And this is going to help you get your setting across to your readers, your audience. Because remember I said using the senses is the best way to get your setting across. So, if you went out on a hunting trip, talk about the crisp air, the sound you heard when you stepped on the crunching leaves and they crackled. Like that one, it has more tension than the full house. Like that one. This one has more tension than that one. Like the bomb will go off in a, in a month. And we, we have, have plenty, plenty of time, time to disarm it. it. Hey, do you want to play a golf? Uh, play a round of golf. And then ten seconds, um, and the bomb goes off. We'll never make. We'll never. So what you guys are going to get to do um, for your topic is you're going to get to write a short story. It's going to be a, a brief short story. And the main character is going to be yourself. So in Faith's paper, Faith is going to be the main First thing you see is objective. Your lead's objective, desire, or mission. Remember when we talked about problem or conflict yesterday? As the central thing to a story, what the problem is. This is going to be your central problem. So you need to imagine a objective for you. So maybe... You need to, um, there's something you need to find. <laughs> you like to drag race. That's good, but you need, you're, you need to come up with a specific memory of a specific time when you went and drag race.